What is up guys? What is up? Welcome back to the Silver Surfers channel and got a really cool one for you guys today that has nothing to do with coins <laughs> or paper money or numismatics in general. And um, I don't really care because I am hoping to try and take my channel as I have in the past with incorporating some numismatics and every now and then putting up some uh, other things that I collect as I'm a big fan of collectibles in general and antique collectibles. I think some of the greatest periods in American history was post-Civil War to pre-World War II, uh, which was just some amazing growth we had in this country. And things were just not made the way they are now a days um, cheaply. And so anyways, this is also one of my newer um, kind of passions. And I just want to share it with you guys and see what y'all think out there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and so what you see in front of you is quite obvious, probably you've picked up from the words on some of these things already, but these are antique tobacco cigarettes slash um, cigar tins and uh, really, really cool um, kind of stuff going on here. I have always, I think, had an allure to any type of like old school tobacco. I have a... Um, uh, old spittoon from um, Redmond Chewing Tobacco uh, spittoon that's uh, all brass and stuff I picked up at an antique store years ago. And I don't know, I, I guess I just always have had an allure for this type of stuff, and antiques in general, like I said. Um, and recently, <clears throat> I've met, I've been involved with a whole bunch of um, new endeavors in the antique and collectible world as Coins and currency and stuff like that have just gone up so high in price that I feel has been uh, not a good market right now. So I've kind of been starting to learn and look into new different things, and, and this is one of them. And uh, and so I'm just I'm fascinated on this kind of stuff, and I absolutely love the graphics on a lot of these um, early tins. And so we're gonna go ahead and just share what I got with you thus far. This is my collection. If you haven't noticed a common theme, then um, uh, I'll just tell you right now, I, I'm focusing and mainly sticking with either the nautical slash military theme and or uh, presidential theme with George Washington on it. And believe it or not, there's actually quite a bit of both of that stuff out there. Aside from tobacco tins, people also collect other things like coffee tins, spice tins, old medical tins like aspirin or laxatives and other quackery type of medicine in the early 1900s, late 1800s kind of stuff. Um, I mean, you name it, they're out there and, uh, they're, they're beautiful lost pieces of artwork, um, and craftsmanship in my opinion, that is just so fascinating to me. Um, this was the very first one that kind of kicked it all off. I saw this in an antique store while looking for something else and I got it. It was cheap. Um, not all that expensive. This is actually an English brand, the, um, John Players, uh, tobacco company. Uh, and this is a Navy cut. Uh, with the little sailor on there and the golden the gold leaf type of uh, cigarettes. <clears throat> I'm not going to open up all these, but I will open up this one for you just to kind of show you what the inside of these things look like. They're they're tin, as I mentioned, uh, and they were done by lithography. So these are lithographic tins, um, and the artwork and stuff had to be drawn out and and uh, imagined and stuff back in the day, as there's no computers back then, and so it's just it's really cool to see. And fascinating. I love all the different colors um, that these things, oh, face reveal, that these things come in and uh, it's really, really cool. So Navy cut cigarettes, you got players and uh, and players on that end as well. Really, really special, really neat. But what's also cool is that I was able to find this um, on an eBay auction and won it uh, for a decent price. And this here is again, a 1925, really early on, almost a hundred years old now. Uh, John Players and Sons, which is the same brand as that right there, uh, out of England, and it's of the series of Leaders of Men. And so this is a cigarette. Um, you got George Washington on the cover, and as I said, I like anything George Washington. But basically, and it gives a whole. Uh, maybe I can get it in focus there. It gives essentially a uh, a whole write up of um, of Washington here, and this was part of the. I'm not going to go ahead and read this for you guys, but trust me on it. And out of England, but these were these cigarette. Um, trade cards were first originally in America placed in cigarette packs to stiffen the pack up, <clears throat> but they started to become collectible and people um, that smoked, which is a, the majority of people back in those times, I think I read somewhere where four out of five men um, in the late 1800s all smoked. 
And so as you can imagine, people would pull these things out of their cigarette packs and they started collecting them, um, which is just really, really cool to me. And you probably heard of the uh, Honus Wagner card <clears throat> from uh, the most expensive baseball card out there. This was the first baseball cards, was the cigarette trade cards. And that card specifically was a, it was a cigarette trade card. So um, maybe you guys didn't know that. But anyways, set him over here for the moment, off to the side. The other one I have is a more common tin. These are the lunchbox style tins, they call them. As you can see, they got uh, a, little, a little handle here like that. And the reason they called that was because um, the, and again, this is about the American Tobacco Company. It's the George Washington image, uh, American cut plug. really, really like this thing. Striking colors. Great presidential theme. Little 4th of July isms going on here, if you would, or presidential day isms. But um, <clears throat> the lunch, they call them the lunchbox tins because uh, after they were used, the tobacco was used, a lot of folks um, took these to work and stuff along those lines and used to put their lunch in there. Um, it was also shown as a uh, kind of thing of um, lower economical, socio socioeconomical wealth as if you had to have one of those because you they say that you couldn't afford a hot meal, which I find is kind of fascinating uh, as well. But hey man, that's what I do nowadays. Um, all right, next we got up here is the Continental Cubes. Um, not the best condition, but these are, these are expensive tins, guys. Um, the other two over here are pretty common. The rest of these actually are, are kind of costly, but this one here is a, is a kidney-shaped tin, um, and these are pocket tins, kidney-shaped pocket tins. The back side has a little bit less uh, graphics viewed here. Um, and then the bottom, we got going on, uh, again, the American Tobacco Company. <clears throat> but these are really cool with George Washington in his full dress uniform, I just think is striking. And again, anything Washington guys is I'm all about. Uh, but these are these are very collectible, these tins in general, and they're they're pretty scarce. Uh, this one is an amazing tin that um, is very collectible, uh, a cigar tin, and it's by it's the All American Cigars. You probably see some fam some familiar faces on here, George Washington in the center. And that's Abraham Lincoln for you right there, and uh, good old Ben Franklin. And this is out of Ohio, I believe, yep. Yeah. There you go, the CE Acton uh, manufacturer of Belmont, Ohio. And you can go ahead and read all the other description there, but again, this is a beautiful lithographed cigar tin, and this sucker is huge. So the stogies would come uh, upright in here in a whole pack of them, and then you can go ahead and pull them out, but this is a very rare tin. Uh, I'm talking to one of the one of the tin collectors that have been in this world for a long time collecting tins for probably tobacco tins specifically for a good probably 40 plus years and uh and he says he's he's only seen this come up you know for sale uh, very very seldomly so i picked that up from an antique dealer um online uh, on our facebook group and uh was happy to acquire that this is one of my favorite graphics um of all time is the Galen Axe Navy Tobacco Company. And I have a very special one of these coming in the mail in about a few weeks here that I will post a video on in the future and share with you guys. But I just absolutely love this. It has a lot of sentimental meaning to me, excuse me, um, which I'm not gonna get into right now, but um, I just absolutely love these colors. The, the sailor graphic right there is just super dope and um, really, really fun. So this is the Galen Axe Navy Tobacco Company. This piece right here is an absolute, this is my latest pickup. Um, this is an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous tin and um, in a very high condition, which these are graded, not by like a third party grading company, but there are individual grades for them that people will put. And this is probably about an eight plus, I would say. And it goes up to 10 being the uh, pristine mint condition one. This is by the, uh, this is a round trip cut plug smoking tobacco and it's got an absolute fascinating ship. Again, my collection is focusing on nautical themes uh, as well as, um, especially Navy nautical themes, as well as military theme, as well as um, presidential. Those are my three uh, aspects that I'm looking at. You can get very carried away on, on, on tins in general and just, and, and get super carried away. I mean, I don't want that to happen. So I had to Draw the line and set a focus, and uh, and I'm loving it so far. This is out of Virgi Richmond, Virginia, um, and the back. Oops, where are we gonna go here? The um, flip side is the same exact thing. 
as the front side here, but I absolutely love this tin and uh, paid up a pretty price for this one as well from the um, same uh, antique dealer that I got uh, the All-American one from, I got the round trip from. This one here is super amazing. There's a couple of different versions. This is the most common version. This is a uniform cut plug. Again, a very desirable, very collectible tin. Um, I'm not the best at grading, but I'd probably say it's about a seven plus, maybe even better. Absolutely love the sailor graphic on it with uh, USS Reliable on his uh, cover there. <coughs> the anchors are just super cool to me, man. I, I love these anchors. Really, oops, another face reveal there. Uh, smoke or Chew Uniform Cut Plug. It says, Loris and Brother Company, Richmond, Virginia. A lot of these early tobacco companies were out of Virginia and North Carolina. Is um, still today, actually, where the majority of our United States tobacco comes from. Really, really cool piece. And then this is by far my favorite graphics of any tobacco tints. And um, I am just so ecstatic to, to own one of these. Um, this is a big old honkin' lunchbox. Again, um, pull up the handle there as you can see. And this is probably a good seven plus grade as well. And I actually won this one on an auction, which the auction was posted on our Facebook group. And I came in strong with it because these are these are not easy to find. Really, none of these are pretty easy to, are easy to find except for the players um, and the George Washington cut plug that I showed earlier. But this one, and the rest of them are very challenging. And I just think it's fascinating. This is by the U.S. Marine um, uh, cut plug tobacco brand there. But it's funny. It's got a Navy sailor coming out of the porthole and saying smoke or chew. And I love this, just the look on his face with the anchors in all four corners. Is this really cool? Really, really cool. On the top, you got the U.S. Marine cut plug. And then over on the side here is a, is a cool looking ship as well with the U.S. Marine. And this is the auction house tag. And then the back has the exact same thing. But I absolutely love, love, love this tin. Uh, it's my favorite tin that, probably my favorite tin out there um, that has been created, in my opinion. I just absolutely love that thing. So yeah, so this is a newfound hobby that I got as well. Um, <clears throat> I think these things are just, again, artwork on them. Just, you can't beat it, man. You cannot beat it. It's They don't do things like this like they used to in the past. Let me know if you guys collect any of this stuff, any coffee tins, tobacco tins, spice tins, um, you know, washing powder, baking powder, whatever the case is. Uh, let me know if you guys collect any of that stuff. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. And until next time, Silver Surfer is out.